Hi guys, welcome back. Tonight's topic, the Chartreuse Scalpel. This is a really, really good perch fly. In my opinion, one of those really good bottom draggers. Uh, it can imitate a goby, it can imitate a sculpin, but in the Chartreuse color, it's just a really, really fish catching color for big perch. Uh, this is also, of course, if you, if you tweak the colors and change it a little bit, it, you have a very, very good pattern for brown trout. And this dragon tail in, in uh, medium really gives that good flash. So in general, a very good pattern uh, that's easy to tie, fairly light to cast. You can cast it from a, with a seven weight and up, or actually six weight too if you have a short headline. You don't snag with it. Um, and versatile pattern, different colors. You can basically catch anything that's are feeding on gobies or, or scalpins. So we're going to tie this on the Eric's uh, bent streamer which has a 26 degree angle to it. So it's really a nice angle. So every time you kind of pull the fly, it lifts from the bottom and sinks down in the right way again. So good hook to this pattern. Check it out.
So when we're gonna glue the head to the fly here, there's basically no better choice in my opinion than epoxy. Uh, there's some, you can use sap gels and stuff like that, but the problem is that they don't really grip these metal, heavy metal heads that well, you know. So I think epoxy is really the only way to go. And um, we're just going to do it in basically two steps. The first one is we're going to coat the inside of the head uh, lightly like that. So we really get glue basically all around the head. Uh, so it has more materials, or it has more glue actually to, to grip when we push it over. But what's important is that you really try to keep that hole um, open inside. So basically coat the inside, but don't fill the head. And then uh, we also add some glue to the thread base here. Here, of course, if you want to, you can take some a bit thicker tread or a yarn or something or or um, something to kind of fill this up but usually when you press this you're gonna press it against the craft fur so usually it sticks quite well so just easily push that over push it down try to get it in that in that uh, kind of slope on that um, 26 degree bend on the hook then it's usually the hook is uh, the, the head is usually really nice situated there and uh, that's also why it's quite crucial to tie the rubber legs in quite far back because if I push this head now all the rubber legs are just going to go straight to the body you know so we want to keep it like that so just make sure that all the hair is nice spread we don't have anything that interferes with what we want to have so the only thing you need to be careful now is to make sure that this head is straight when the glue dries. So put it on the table, make, line it up so it's straight. Otherwise, you just have to wait five minutes and you're good to go. And if you want to win this fly, please leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you have the chance to win this. I'm going to take this bad boy fishing in a few minutes. See, see you later.